Let's take a look at how the equilibrium constant depends on temperature. Recall that the natural log of the equilibrium constant is related to the standard state value for the delta G of reaction. If I want to know how the equilibrium constant depends on temperature, I need to look at the derivative of the natural log of the equilibrium constant with respect to temperature at constant pressure. When I take the derivative of the natural log of the equilibrium constant with respect to temperature, I have to remember that delta G is also a function of temperature, and so I need to use the product rule to find that derivative. Now let's recall that delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. Furthermore, the opposite of the derivative of delta G with respect to temperature is equal to the delta S of the reaction. So making those substitutions, we can see that the delta S terms are going to cancel and we end up with the derivative of the natural log of the equilibrium constant with respect to temperature is equal to the delta H of reaction divided by RT squared. Given the standard state value for the delta H of reaction, we can then separate variables and integrate to find the equilibrium constant as a function of temperature. Separating variables leads to D natural log of KEQ is equal to delta H of reaction standard state divided by R dt over t squared. We can integrate both sides of this equation. Again, as always, we're going to want to integrate from a value where we know the equilibrium constant to any other value. And we'll integrate the right-hand side from t1 to t2, where t1 is a, a temperature at which we know the equilibrium constant, delta H of reaction, standard state, divided by R, dt over t squared. In the simple case, where we can treat the delta H of reaction as constant, this integral is fairly easy to do, and we end up with natural log of the equilibrium constant at t2, the temperature we want to know the equilibrium constant at, minus the natural log of the equilibrium constant at T1, the temperature where we know the equilibrium constant, is equal to delta H of reaction in the standard state divided by R times the quantity 1 over T2 minus 1 over T1 where we have a minus sign in front of the whole thing because the integral of dt over t squared is minus 1 over t. This then allows me to calculate the equilibrium constant at a temperature that I don't know from the equilibrium constant at a given temperature and the delta H of reaction.